module, we will learn how to arm and disarm the system via various methods, such as the app, fob, codepad, and browser. Arming and disarming is an important function of any alarm system. If any detection device were to be triggered while the system is in an arm state, it will set off an alarm event. In typical alarm installations, the siren and strobe will immediately start to sound and light up. When the system is not armed, the detection device can still be triggered but not set off any alarm events. In this demonstration, we'll make assumptions that all users have been set up correctly with the right privileges in order to be able to arm or disarm the system. We'll start off with the UltraSync app. When you connect to any site, the first thing you'll see is the overview page. We can tap on the sensors tab on the bottom right to get a more detailed overview of the system. We can tap on arm away if we want to arm the system. And for disarming, we simply tap disarm. Next, we'll go over to the fob. To arm the system, just press down on the lock button. To disarm, you'll press down on the art lock button. Now for the code pad, to arm the system, press away and enter in the user pin code. If you've entered in the correct pin code and this user has the right privileges to be able to arm the system, the system will proceed to be armed. To disarm, just press off and enter in the pin code. For the browser, we will need to log in first. Upon logging in, you will land on the arm slash disarm page, otherwise known as the areas page. You can click on the away button of the area that you wish to arm. In this example, the browser is informing us that there is an exit delay before the system can be armed. An exit delay can be configured for instances where you might want to arm the system, but still want enough time to get out of the property and lock it up without setting off the alarm. To disarm, we can click the off button. This about covers all the different methods you can use to arm or disarm on a Reliance alarm system.